Hello and welcome to this tutorial about how to use the Book Design Made Simple template. Now you can see that I'm in InDesign and I've opened the template and I've given it a file name. As soon as you open any template in InDesign it becomes a regular InDesign document. So I've saved this with a file name and you should do the same thing for yours. So let's see what we have here. First we have our little introduction and let's look over here at the pages panel to see how many pages we have. We have three pages, which is just right for starting any long document. We have got character styles. We've given you six basic character styles. And we have paragraph styles. There should be about 42 of those, all also very basic that you could use in any book. So the first thing we're going to do is import our text. We get the type tool over here, click on the page, and go to File, Place. We find the document, and we make sure that we click this Show Import Options down here. Very important. Click Open. And here are the options that we wanted. The only one we really care about is right here, use typographer's quotes. This will change all straight quotes like this into the curly kind that are used in books. Also, same thing with apostrophe, single quotes and double quotation marks. Just click OK. You can see our cursor is loaded with text. All you have to do is click anywhere in the page. And there's our first page. Let's look at the, the pages panel to see what has happened. Uh, not too much. We just have text on the first page and there's still only three pages in this book. So in order to fill all the rest of the pages, we go and we get the selection tool, which is the solid arrow. And click down here at the bottom right on this little square. And you might have to click twice. And you can see our cursor is loaded with text again. So we go carefully down to page two and place this little cursor right in the upper left corner of the text area. Hold down the shift key. See that little icon? That means auto flow. That's what we want to do. So we'll hold down the shift key and click. And now you can see in the pages panel we have 136 pages. I'm going to go to that page. See, it says the end on page 136. Let's go back to page one. Okay, now at this point we want to stop and optimize the text. I'm not going to show you how to do this because every book is a different situation, but if you go to chapter nine in Book Design Made Simple, we show you all the tricks, how to do it, how to save yourself a ton of time and heartache. Basically what it does is get rid of anything extra that you have sitting in there, like many people type their manuscript with an extra space between paragraphs. You can get rid of all of those. Any extra little spaces between letters that have snuck in there. And, but more importantly, you can make your italics stick in your document. In other words, if you have italics in your manuscript and you want them to remain as italics after you format your pages, this is when you do it. It's a wonderful function that InDesign has and you'll, if you try it, you'll be so happy that you did. So I'm going to pretend at this point that we've done that and move on to formatting the pages. I'm going to close the pages and open the paragraph styles. I'm going to get my type tool over here, the T again. Now, before every chapter number in Book Design Made Simple, our, our system is to add a line of space, which I have right here. You can add one yourself on yours. 
and we give it a style, and the style we give it is called text down here. Just click on that. Okay, now you can ignore that. Now, the next thing I want to do is get my chapter title to be on a different line from my chapter number. So I just did that. Put the cursor in the chapter number and give it the chapter number style. Now I'll put my cursor in the chapter title and give it the chapter title style. And then I'll put the cursor in the first paragraph. The first paragraph after any chapter title is never indented. So we have a style called no indents. Here we go. And then the rest of this page is regular text, so I'll just give it the text style. You can see that it looks different from the manuscript. The type is smaller, it aligns on the right here. There are indents in most of the paragraphs. Go to page two. And we can format all of this so quickly by just clicking on the text style. And then we'll go down and do the next few pages. And I'm going to go all the way until I get to this next interesting looking feature here and give it all the text style. Now we get to this feature and it is called a paragraph separator and it has its own style right here, paragraph separators. And that's what that looks like. Now the next line after a paragraph separator does not have an indent so the style is called no indents and then we go on with the rest of this chapter. Now you could format 50 pages all at once if you wanted to. I like to go through and just do one chapter at a time. So this is normal text and we'll just click on that. I'm going to show you a couple of little things you can do uh, with your styles here. The first one is I'm going to show you how to make a list. So I'm going to pretend that this paragraph here is a list and I, so I will break it into four shorter paragraphs just for the demo. Okay, one, two, three, four. The first entry in our bulleted list, I'll go over here to my list section and get bulleted lists first. That's the style we want. And look at that, it got, not only did it get a bullet, but it also got space above it. Now we have the middle entries. They don't want space above them, but they do want bullets, so we go to bulleted list middle. And then we'll get into the last entry of this bulleted list, and we'll go to the style called bulleted list last. Now I could have easily made a numbered list here and the numbers would show up automatically or an unnumbered list, any kind of list. You can see we have so many styles of lists here that cover just about anything you would ever want to do. The next thing I just want to show you how to make a heading. So I'm just going to type in heading one and I'm going to give it heading one style. So it'll be the main heading that is not a chapter title and that's what that looks like and then of course there's no indent after that heading. Now let's say you think this heading is a little bit dull looking and you just want to change it to some other kind of look. So all you have to do is go to the style when you're not selecting anything Go to the style, double click, and here are the specifications for this heading one. Let's just change the typeface and we can change the size and let's change it instead of being centered, let's put it on the left. Click OK. And now every time you have a heading one, it's going to look like this. And you can change this a dozen times, as many times as you want. We encourage everybody to make all the changes they like while still sticking to good 
group design principles. Now, what is this going to look like? All you have to do is just deselect everything. Don't be selecting anything and hit the W key. And that's what it will look like once you print it. Hit the W key again to get all your guidelines back. Now, you can make all these styles yourself. You don't have to use this template. If you go to our book, we show you very precisely how to set up every single one of these styles that you see here. But if you do use it, you'll save yourself some time. So I hope that if you do use the template, you find that you save lots of time and you enjoy the process. And even if you don't use it, we wish you the best result for your design. As we always say at Book Design Made Simple, you can do it yourself. Thank you for watching.